this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And today I'm having so much fun making these super adorable treat bags for my daughter's college roommates. So let's get started. I got these really cute plastic baggies from my daughter when she was in art school. And so because she didn't need them anymore, she wasn't sure what to do with them, so she gave them to me. And so I thought it would be a nice idea to turn these into treat bags for Valentine's Day. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be creating my own um, treat bag toppers. And the bag is three inches wide. And so all I did was I took some cardstock and kind of cut it to that three inch wide. Um, I cut it three inches wide and then what I'm going to do is fold it in half. So it's three inches wide and it's uh, four inches um, across. But I'm going to fold it in half so it'll only be two inches. And then I'm going to decorate it. The nice thing is that you can do whatever you want with your um, with your treat toppers as far as decorating them, just have fun. I'm gonna use um, this table scatter from Dollar Tree. And I also had some of these, these hearts that I got from Dollar Tree and I thought that would be nice to decorate with. And I'm gonna use some of my scrap paper that I have lying around, all those little pieces of scraps. This is a good way to use these. And you can do these for any occasion. If it's someone's birthday, you can make little treat toppers um, for that. So I'm just going to fold this in half. And I want a really good, really good crease on that too. I keep forgetting I have this bone folder. to get a really good line on that. And if you want to know which one this is, this is EK Tools Bone Folder. Okay, and all I did was I cut down my scrap paper. I like this because it's nice and feminine and um, I think her roommates would really like this but you can mix it up with whatever colors you want. So I just cut it down so it looks like that. And I'm noticing that this is just a little bit crooked, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this off. And I do wanna leave a little bit of a border around it, like that white border. So all of that cardstock that you have, this is the, a great project for using that. And if you want to use a glue stick to glue this on, you can. I'm just going to use my crafter's tape to adhere it to this because I want it to have some kind of backing on there. These are so easy to make too, so I really had fun with these. Now, another thing that I did was I wanted to make a label and I had gotten these stamps uh, from the Dollar Tree. I never knew they actually had them and I did show this in one of my videos because I never knew that Dollar Tree had stamps. And so this is going to come in handy. I'm gonna get one of these little scraps here. And I'm just gonna stamp it on here and make my little pop-up sign on there. Thought this would be nice to put on here too. And this is just a good way to show um, that my daughter can give this to her roommates and it's just a, a, to show them how much she appreciates them too. Because I have done dorm life way, 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 way long ago. And 
you could have either have a really good roommate or you can have the roommates from wherever yeah so she's got some a really good bunch of roommates really nice sweet girls and I thought it'd be nice for her to give them something special and she agrees so that's how I got caught up doing this and so that's just um, I love the way that stamp is because it's got a little bit where I can just kind of fill it in so I'm just gonna fill in the heart here with red if you want to use colored pencils you can if you want to just use regular Crayola markers you can and just doing that little bit just adds a little bit of color to it and I think it'll be nice to put a little border around the outside of this just to make it stand out a bit doing these tree toppers almost reminds me of doing the embellishments you're just kind of having fun with it you're not doing too much thinking about it and I thought I would use some ribbon also on these Let's see what I have here I've got this really blush blush looking ribbon just to add a little bit to this. Yep, I'm going to use that. Just a little bit to go across there. I could either put it at the top, I could put it at the bottom here. Just to add that little bit of extra. And you could hard, you can't really see it as much. But just adding that little bit just adds a little bit of character to it. I'm just going to use some tacky glue on this. Try not to use too much. And I like the tacky glue because it, it dries clear. Um, but you can use whatever whatever glue you have just let that dry I'm just going to cut that little bit off at the end there just to add a little bit on there and while that's drying I'm going to go ahead and add some candy to this. I did get a bunch of candy um, from the Dollar Tree. Quite economical. Sorry if I'm making so much noise here shuffling around. I think the key here is not to eat your stash. I'm just kind of filling these little baggies up with stuff. And this is actually, these would make nice um, treats for like a classroom also I know uh, when my kids were little we had um, they were giving out the little Valentine's in class so that's another option or I know when my daughters were in middle school and high school it seems so long ago now we used to give treats out to the teachers and I know once you get up there in age it's like you don't want to really give them like something really big but these are just so cute that you can just kind of slip this to the teacher just to let them know that you appreciate them just a little something okay Okay, so this is going to be really cute. I think what I'm going to do now is put on these little sparkly hearts here. And these are so cute because they have the larger ones. They have the large ones and the small ones. And I'm thinking this will be too big. 
So I'm just going to put one of the, the smaller ones on there. Just going to put that off to the side there. How cute that is. And I'm just going to hot glue it on there. And just put it off on an angle. And then I'm going to take one of these. And I am going to hot glue it right on there. Oops, I want to make sure that's turned the right way. Look how cute that is already. And if you want, you could leave it like that, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mount this. Putting something else on there. Put my little love sign on there. Look how cute that is. And I was only supposed to make three of these, but I, I went and just I'll show you uh, some of the details of the other ones I made. I just had so much fun with this. I just kept on going. So if she has some other friends that she wants to give these out to, she can. And so I'm just popping that up on there. I'm just going to put it right here. I could put it straight on like that. I think I'll just put it like that because we already have this at an angle. This is so much fun. So much fun. And so look how cute that is. And I think I'm going to put another one of these stones on here. One of the little hearts. Another heart on there would be cute. Maybe in the corner. right up here just add a little bit of sparkly stuff so you see how you can get really creative with these right in the corner there and you've already finished one of your toppers and you can leave these as plain as you want you can get fancy with them um, if you just have crayons and some white paper go for it Okay, and so the way I'm going to attach these is I'm just going to put, I'm going to use my um, crafter's tape and just along the bottom of the inside, I'm just going to run my crafter's tape right along there. And then I'm just going to, the bag is light, so I'm going to just attach it right where it would open, right there. And then I'm going to take my crafter's tape again, just run it along the top, top part of the bag. You don't need a lot, and then I'm going to close this down. Just figured it would be a lot easier for them to get it open. And look how cute that is. All done. Let me show you the other ones that I did. Here's one that's a lot similar to this one. I made a little sign, popped it up on there. Here's another one that I made. Did it in purple. And all I did was use some of my scrap uh, paper, all my pieces that I had. Put a few lines along the top, a couple of lines along the bottom, and added some little sparkly hearts from Dollar Tree. So when you see all of those little embellishments, by all means go and get them because you can always use them to decorate things. This was really cute too. And you can do this for birthday, someone's birthday you're not sure, at work maybe, and just kind of slip one on their desk. They would absolutely love seeing something like this. And it doesn't cost a lot to make. 
Here's another one I did. Added some sparkly to it. And the XO stamp, XOXO stamp right here, again from the Dollar Tree. So cute. And here was another one that I did. And I had some like stickered letters. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. But this turned out perfect. Um, I just put it on some card, red cardstock, took some of the paper and added those hearts. And there you go. So I have a feeling I'm going to be here all afternoon making treat bags and treat bag toppers because it's so much fun. So I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea, especially with it um, kind of winding down towards Valentine's Day and you might want to you're not sure about those little last-minute gifts um, this is a, a great idea so I hope this inspired you you could use this for any occasion where you just want to even if you want to show appreciation put thank you across there um, so that you're not limited to just Valentine's Day. You can do this for any kind of occasion. Birthdays. Um, this, these will make nice little party favors also. You can just put whatever you want in them. That way you'll have control over what goes in the baggie. And thank you so much for, for joining me. I hope you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to like and also comment. See you real soon. Bye.